Now, um, we've heard over the past few days how taxi drivers have been urged to see how they can assist in protecting malls and shopping centres that have not been affected by the looting. Uh, we cross now to Leanne Manis. Some of you saying that we banished Leanne after that nippy comment where she wasn't dressed for winter. I can tell you she is dressed for winter. Can you see the polar neck and everything? Could have been a better colour, but it's close enough, Leanne. Um, she is, of course, with uh, video journalist uh, Japan Matebula at the Brie a taxi rank in the Joburg CBD. Leanne, good morning. Good morning, Tisukina. I'm glad you're making jokes on this Friday morning. Yeah, we're out and about. We are. We're everywhere. Wherever you, uh, we, we, we're trying to give you a bird's eye view of what's going on in Kharteng. So we found ourselves at the Breed Taxi Rank. And this is, it is the hive of activity. This is the spot to be when you are commuting to work. So you come here and then of course you take the taxis all over the place. So what I can confirm is there are a lot of taxis. What I cannot confirm is that there are a lot of commuters because as much as there are all these taxis, we're not seeing too many commuters. So, I mean, let's give you an idea of what's going on here. So let's take you on a, a little bit of a walkabout. So here's all the taxis lining up. And normally when you do come to Brie Taxi Rank, let me just jump on here. I've already been almost knocked over once. I'll try and <laughs> I'll try save myself here. Normally there are queues of people everywhere. And at this point, it doesn't appear to be anybody that is, I mean, they come, you get a taxi and then you go off to work. But I mean, it is nowhere near as busy, but apparently what, uh, what the guys were saying, we were chatting to some of the taxi drivers and the business owners, they were saying, as much as you think it's not uh, busy today, you should have seen it yesterday. It was even more quiet. Let me try to talk to some people. Hi, good morning. How are you doing? I'm fine, and you? Good, man. Are you going off to work? Yes. Yeah. How are you feeling this morning? Are you, are you feeling a little bit... Uh, Nervous or are you fine after everything that's happened in Gauteng? Ah, I'm nervous, but uh, well, what it can do? Yeah. Yes, we just see the situation is going down now. Everything is coming all right. And, and tell me, your, um, what, 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 where are you going to? Where do you work? I'm working at uh, Rand Park Bridge. Okay. And everything's fine there that you know of? Everything is fine down there. There's nothing wrong with yes. Stay strong. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you so much for talking to us. Awesome. In, fa in fact, that's the second person I've spoken to that is, is going out to the West Rand this morning. And uh, uh, this guy actually lived in the South. And he was saying last night they were trying to actually get to Southgate Mall, the looters. And the community stepped in and said, absolutely not. They would not allow it. So it seems that certain areas are still very, very volatile. He works in the West Rand and he was hoping that he would find the business open and operating today. So uh, let's find, uh, maybe I can chat to one of the taxi drivers. I know I had a couple of them lined up a bit earlier to see if uh, business is the way it usually is or if it's not. They were saying it's exceptionally quiet and that's something that they're not really used to, is that it's just so quiet. Uh, let me see if I can talk to this guy. Hold on a sec. Hi, how you doing? You're good. You're going to work. Enjoy. Hey, boss, how are you doing? How's it going? Tell me, how, how, how's business? Uh, the business is very low, man. It's very low. Yeah. It's Leon. Yeah, it's Leon. Yeah. How are you, man? I'm so good. Nice to see you. Awesome. Yeah, so, the business is very low, man. So, I mean, normally this... There's no people. I know. I've yeah. seen this yeah. 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 And yesterday, I believe, was even worse. Yeah, yesterday is very, what, very worse. Was, wow. yeah, even today, you can see there's no people. Yeah. yeah. But where you've been driving around Khartoum, taking commuters, has it been... Was it quiet yesterday? Nothing? Yeah, no. Yesterday, this it was very good. Like, there is no. I didn't see anything like uh, burning some yard. There's no violence. There's no burning tires. Yeah, anything like that. Yeah. But, but you guys, uh, the 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 taxi drivers. I was chatting to some of your colleagues. They were saying they were trying to stop these looters as well. Did no, you try? No, going to fight that looting. No, no. We, we don't want looting. Yeah. Yeah, because the, the business is going to be very low, low, and then they're going to ban some some shops. So we don't like that thing. Yeah. 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 In Houghton. You look after yourself, eh? Thanks for talking to us. Sure. What's your name? Uh, Louis. Louis. You're a star, Louis. Thanks so much, eh? Thank you. So you can see, I mean, people are, people, they're coming here, they're showing up, they're looking for business, they just, you know, it is genuinely, you know, this, I, I don't think you could find a better example of a hub in uh, Gauteng or Johannesburg where 
this takes you everywhere and this is where you go to work but there are just no cues there are no i mean i don't think many people would understand that they would ever have seen something like this taking place on a friday morning at the brie taxi rank and a lot of people that you speak to are going to work they're not feeling safe and it's just that they have to get to their place of work and hope that everything's okay now a lot of the guys that have got the traders that have set up businesses here they're saying it's very very quiet um i i, I did have the business owner here uh, they seem to have stepped away for a second but they were saying that it is nothing like they usually do and they're very very worried for business because they're just not making money right now so yeah this is just to give you a, an idea of what's going on in downtown uh, Joburg and hi is this your business yeah how are you doing good and you oh, how's business today hi we're trying our best yeah. in all our best because since this thing of covid and this striking the business at gas going down but we are trying our best yeah and tell me is this the is this the quietest you've ever seen Bree taxi rank sorry is this the quietest you've ever seen the rank what is this the quietest you've ever seen Bree yes Yes. Yeah. Tough business right now, but you keep trying. All right. We'll keep on trying. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank thanks you. for talking to us. I don't know. I'm not sure. I can tell you more. Seems like the same story from everybody. Uh, Sakina, we're going to keep on driving around. We're going to keep on uh, having a look and seeing what it's like here on the floor. But I suppose what we can tell you is that there is nothing normal about the way things are looking in Johannesburg at the moment. Uh, even though there's a relative calm, doesn't seem to be any looting people are worried they staying away and i think a lot of people just have no business to go to let's hand it back to the studio and we'll see you in our next location mm. and and uh, thanks so much lee and um, get yourself a cup of coffee there because i think what people don't know about leanne is that she has what we call the national jojo tank it sits here and it's leanne's coffee and that's <laughs> what she goes through the whole body through this <laughs> I know why she found I know why she found that particular hawker it's about the coffee uh, so have some there Leanne but you know what this is the real story of what is happening the aftermath of the unrest the pilfering uh, uh, pilfering the pillaging that we've seen over the past few days across Gauteng and KwaZulu Natal and now in a sense, the chickens are coming home to roost. I, I mean, just driving home in the afternoons this whole week, you would have been mistaken, you're forgiven for thinking that it was not even a Sunday because Sundays are more busy. Maybe some public holiday or something. That's how quiet it is on the roads. And that's the reality that the taxi uh, drivers also have to contend with. But we'll bring you more coverage of what's happening, uh, the aftermath of the unrest uh, that we have seen, the looting that has grabbed the headlines over the past few days. And of course, there's still a tense, uneasy calm uh, settling over South Africa at the moment. But we'll uh, let you know from a bird's eye view where our reporters are, what is actually happening on the ground. We're going to take a quick break. And after that, 